All right, friends, it is Foodie Friday, and today Daniel and I are learning how to make sushi thanks to our friends with Taste of Hanabi. Now, it's one of the newest additions to the Main Street District in downtown Columbia. It offers authentic Japanese cuisine while celebrating the beauty of flowers with their Zen Garden Sushi Room. And here's a fun fact in Japanese, Hanabi actually translates to fire flower, which is their description for fireworks. And as we talk of Japanese cuisine and sushi, join us now to show us how to make your own sushi chief larry from taste of hanabi all right chef okay so i'm so excited i got to hang out with you during the columbia food and wine festival and do this i am not that good even though you're being so nice about it but show us how at home we can make sushi all right well we're just going to keep it simple and clean here water is going to be your best friend you okay need that it's your anti-adhesive this rice is very sticky so let's just get the tip of our fingers Wet. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. I want to hear Daniel. All right. Do like the chef. All right. Teamwork. All right. So get our hands wet. Okay. Just that much water. You won't, won't want too much here. Okay. I went for a second dip already. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab us some rice. Make a little rice ball right here. Okay. Nice little rice ball. Mm -hmm. How big? What type of? How big should the ball be? I go about four ounces. Four ounces. But okay. You may not know what four ounces is on the top of your head. So you always want to start off with less than more than too much you know you can always add on uh, all right so, there we go you know it's like when you're cooking you don't want to put too much spice because if you need more you can just add more. exactly all right, all right. so this let's go expert. ahead and put it in the middle okay i'm adding a little all bit right. more all right got it in the middle okay we're going to just use our fingertips like this Ooh. all right mm -hmm. let's concentrate on shaving the rice to one side okay all right put the rice to one mm -hmm. side this is a good way to measure oh i'm going to, doesn't matter what side let me yeah, turn around, around. <laughs> <laughs> put it around <laughs> Already struggling? Okay. All right, so you should always have enough rice to get 50% of it. Okay. Now, as we continue to push the rice to the other side, mm -hmm. it makes it easier knowing that if you didn't have enough, you can just patch up that little bit in a short mm -hmm. amount of time. Can you, See what I'm saying? can you help me patch? <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. You I'm do like, it so well. It's like snowball size. Yeah, that's a good description. All right, so we want to, and we want to get all the way to the edges, yeah, right? Yeah, you're right. You don't right. have to, like, you can be sloppy. You don't have to color inside the ah, lines. You can go outside a little bit. You okay, don't want to show Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. All right. I probably need to add some more. All right, mm -hmm. we'll keep going while I'm adding this. What's all next, All right, chef? so what we're going to add next is, let's go ahead and do the sesame seeds. Ooh, I love a sesame right. seed now. Okay, where can you get sesame seeds? Anywhere? Anywhere. Um, You can go from the Asian market. You can mm -hmm. go to the chef store. Um. A lot of variety. I mean, you can actually go to any grocery store, actually, these days. They will have, actually, their little Asian section. I'm going to move this hit over. They told me to move that okay. over. You want to hit me with some sesame? Cool deal. Oh, I will. I will. Come on, DB. Now, this is green... chef right here. Right. Sous chef. I do actually know what that means. <laughs> now, the green stuff under here, that's seaweed. Nori, yes, yeah, seaweed. Okay, yep. gotcha. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's go. You should know this palm right here. But okay. I'm going to go ahead and see how sticky it is. Mm-hmm. Boom. It's going to flip Oh, wow. It. Just like that. All right. All right. Just... Do you remember oh, what bad. ingredients go on first? You remember? Uh, the avocado, because you're cutting it. <laughs> Am I wrong? It is, because it's the messier ingredients. Ah. Oh. The messier ingredients, because the drier ingredients go on last. It will protect your hands from being so messy. Okay, uh, that sounds good. All right. All right. Now, again, metaphors, world map, equator. We're going to concentrate on the southern hemisphere. Okay, sounds good. And it's going to, you know, come to... Great explanation very soon. All right, perfect. Next. There you go. Are these our cucumber? Your English cucumber. English yeah. cucumber. All right, we got about a minute left. The fastest sushi roll you've ever seen in your life. It smells wonderful. It does I will smell say incredible. that. incredible. Yeah. All right. But I'm a huge fan Take of avocado. Take the wrapper off of that. Okay. We can beat the clock. We can beat the clock. Uh oh! Oh! I saw what the chef did, so I said, "All right, let me let me do that." A nice now, what, roll. what is that, chef? This is Connie. Okay. I don't want people thinking it's like imitation crab. Connie means like fish cake. Gotcha. So all it's right. not imitation. It's just a blend of different types of seafood. Okay. Into it. All right. So again, real quick, look at this. Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh, you're rolling up a uh, wrapping paper. Oh. See what I'm doing right there. So okay. we're gonna go with this. We're gonna hump over on it. You see how I tuck that? Remember? So if I pull it out. Okay. Wow. Am, I, am I am I getting it, Chef? Right. When you feel like you're getting that hoop. Boop. Tuck it. Just like tuck that. It. Yeah. Tuck, tuck it. it in. Okay. Pull the flap out. All right. And then roll with it. 
Okay, tuck and roll. Mm. <laughs> tuck, tuck and roll, tuck and roll, chef. Tuck and roll. His looks professional. I know. Obviously. Oh, yes, oh, that look bad. Look at this, chef. You are an incredible teacher. <laughs> oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited. A lot better than the last one. <laughs> it was a, a lot, lot better than the last one. All right, chef. Unfortunately, we have to wrap. Tell us about where we can go t check out Hanabi. Uh, it's uh, located on 624 Main Street. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see the venue. If you're also in the parking garage, it's actually when you walk out in that alleyway, you will see the front of an obby. So there are two ways to get in. So. I love that. All right, friends. So actually, one thing too uh, that you taught us is that how you cut it is actually extremely important. Very as important. Well. Yeah. As well. Because you got to get what what. You got to do a nice little song. Nine. Nine. A good knife. Right. You got to yes, dip it in water. water. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm retain some information. All right, friends. So again, check out Taste of Hanabi. We've just learned how to make sushi. Thank you so much, Chef.